Hello everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily create a double jump feature inside of your Unreal Engine level. Now, a short introduction into double jump from a standpoint of game design. It's a huge feature, especially in things like platformers and similar games where the ability to create a jump and then follow through with another jump is essential for overcoming obstacles and the whole action spatial component of a game. Right here we have our basic third person starter content level. As you can see we have our mannequin and it works and feels when it comes to jumping like you would see when you start the game. You have your single jump, while you press it, the player character simply hovers, moves and your input is stopped. So let's see how the jump looks like right now in the blueprint and let's see how we can edit and modify it to give it a double jump functionality. To do that we're going to go to pers per third person character and go for edit third person character right here. It will open up the same blueprint and I'm already at the jump segment and as you can see there is a pretty simple system of jumping when pressed and stop jumping when released. So we're going to take these away and create several additional nodes that will actually allow for the double jump. So we're going to delete these, let's extend this space and move it here. And the first thing we need to add is on pressed to do something that is called do n node. So instead do once, uh, do once multiply, we have the do n. This will allow us to repeat the same action through the same integer, which we're going to change to two. And from here on out, we need to reset the same node by adding an event which will be an event on land event on landed here it is so let's extend this a bit more and now we have that actual ability to repeat that input which is pressed the spacebar is the default key for that and when pressed the second time a double jump will commence. The last node we need is to actually add right here on do n launch character. And here it is. As you can see the setup is ready to go. We only need to add z override and from launch velocity these values we should only change the z value which is actually the height of the jump that is going to be commenced so for start let's add something like 400 we'll test it out and if it works all right we can then modify it later on we should compile and save and go back to our third person level and let's try it out here is the jump and here is the double jump, it's working as well. So the jump velocity and height isn't that big. We're going to modify it. Let's go back to the third person and let's double it up to let's say 800. We're going to again compile and save. And here we are and that's more like it so there's the double jump and it's pretty stronger than the first one of course you will be able to modify these through different options so including character setting where you would have access to the jump velocity as well but you can do it from these nodes right here but if we add for example n3 we will be able to do a triple jump so let's try it out and here we are one two three and the hang time is pretty enormous and that way you can basically modify and change and move 
the triple jump functionality or quadruple jump functionality, however you like. However, when it comes to basic games and basic game design, the double jump feature, again, especially for things like 2D platformers, is essential and this setting, this setup will allow you to do just the same through really quick and easy modification of the original third person or 2D person character, whatever your project might be blueprints so there you have it that's how you create a double jump one of the core features of any or most platformer games and many other games hopefully you found this tutorial useful if you're a beginner please consider subscribing to my channel there will be more videos like this coming in the next oncoming weeks and months also leave a like leave a comment if you have any questions i would love to hear what you think about the video and my channel in general there are a bunch of ways you can support me as well, but you don't have to do any of that. Subscribing would be more than enough. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ivica. I hope I'll see you on my next Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video. Until then, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Bye bye.